Hello, let's do Wordle number 1050 for May 4th, and may the 4th be with you. Uh, I asked for two starting words related to a summer theme, and Casey suggested water and party. <laughs> Sounds nice. Uh, I moved to Colorado back in October, and I'm pretty sure we had our first snow of the year right when I moved here, and we just, I think, had our last snow of the year. I did not expect to have six months of snow, but <laughs> coming from San Diego. Um, but I am excited for things to warm up and for the pools to open and everything. I'm used to having those year round. <laughs> anyway, I'm very excited. I'm, I'm done with snow for a while. Anyway, water party. Uh, we got an A second. There's an E somewhere. Now the question is, where's the E go? Probably at the end of the word. So whenever I have AE like that, I don't know why. I always think of cash. It's such a terrible guess because it repeats the C. So I got, I got to think of something else. It, it's not the ace to trap, luckily. That's always something to worry about, but there is no T. Hmm. So what would it be then? Maybe like an NCE word or NSE. We could do dance. That's not bad. Lance. Let's do Lance. I like that L. All right. That's why I like the L. There is an L in the word. Um, now the question is, is it double L-E? Would that be a word? It's not ballet. Ballet ends up with a T. It's a six letter word. Dolly, the uh, <laughs> the painter. Um, I don't think this is anything. I think it's A L something E. Maybe A L S E. False. Have we had false before? I feel like we've had it, but I'm gonna guess it. All right. Well, it wasn't the answer, so maybe we have had it. We're down to guess five, so we got to be very careful here. I feel like we're down to the wire, though. Like there's there's not much left that could be. Like what what goes between that L and E? Could it be a vowel? Could we do like I-E, U-E, value? Okay, U-E is definitely possible with value. Honestly, I think that's what it is. I'm going to go for it. All right, value in five. That's a tough word. It's got a weird formation to it. It does have three vowels in it, though. So if you have vowel-heavy starts, you're going you're gonna to know. But yeah, it's still a weird placement for the U. <laughs> Um, the V is not that common. You might take you a bit to think of the V. So yeah, uh, let me know how you did on this one. I'm interested if you got it easily or if it was a struggle. It was a little bit of a struggle for, for me, but not not too bad. I did, did take five guesses though. Um, but yeah, let's see what the Wordlebot had to say. Were there any other options, things like that? How well, were my, how well did I do with my guesses? So we started with Water Party. The answer was value. So we got these A's and that E. So we were down to 26 probable answers here. That's quite a few. Um, I believe I guessed Lance next, didn't I? I believe I guessed Lance next. I'll just check. Yeah, I did Lance then false. So after Lance, we got this info. And this is where I thought we were quite restricted. Eight answers. Eagle. I did not think of Eagle. Fable. False. Have. Sable. So a lot of A, B, oh. Not a lot. There's two ABLEs, Fable and Sable. I'm not sure I would have ever thought of Sable. That's an interesting word. Sav. I think we've had Sav before, but I don't remember. I, I seem, seem to recall that. Value and Valve. Okay, so it could have been Valve also. I'm sure of it. Um, didn't think of that. But I think after Val if it had been Valve, after Value would have been only Valve. So um, it's suggesting Schlub. Um, but I do I do hard mode style, so it, it's suggesting sav or false, both equally good, sable also equally good. So false was the best follow-up here, according to the bot. And we got that, and then it was down to, oh, there were three options. Now, luckily, no matter which of these three I guessed, I wasn't going to fail. Because if I guessed have, that would have told me there was a green V here for valve, or not a green V there, a yellow V for value, right? So have would have told me that. Value definitely would have told me valve versus have, and then valve also tells you, right? So even though there were three options left, it was still okay that I guessed value. And value happened to be correct, so I want a one and three there. Unless we've already had have or value. Valve, I don't really like to think about that, though, when analyzing the solve. you Technically, you could go and just check to see if those words have been used before, and then eliminate them that way. That doesn't help you when you're solving all the other Wordle variants out there, so it's nice practice to not think about that. I do think about it if I'm down to the wire. Anyway, let's see what its non-hard mode solve would have done. So it says gulch is the absolute best thing to do here. Um, 
So it's sacrificing getting it in three in order to reduce the average number of guesses overall. Um, and so we get the yellow U, we get the green L, and then it's only value, unlikely but salue. So like Gulch just immediately tells us its value. So that it threw out getting it in three in order to get it basically guaranteed in four at that point. It wasn't guaranteed. This 2.308 guesses left means of, it basically says, I'm going to go through each of these possible answers and pretend that's the answer. And then I'm going to do Gulch as a guess. And then I'm going to solve from there and see how many average guesses it takes me. So how many guesses it takes me for each of these words. And then it averages that. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, and so it's trying to minimize on average how many guesses there are left. Um, in hard mode, it's saying Salut or Lance. Let's go with Lance, because that's actually a possible answer. Salu is not a real word. <laughs> um, and so we get the L and the A and the E. And then we are down to eight words here. Let's go with false, because that's what I did. And I think after false, we should be good. Um, oh, yeah. No, then then it, it's basically... It basically do, wait, is this exactly what I did? Lance... This is exactly my solve. Hold on. Lance then. Yeah, so Lance was was the best option. See, notice these are tied for 2.615. I think Lance is better because it's a possible answer. So that that's the best option. And then after Lance, which is what I guessed, it, it, we already saw this. It was Sav, False, or Sable, all equally good. So I guessed the best hard mode guesses at each step of the way. Because um, from here... It doesn't matter which one you guess. It's saying it's a one in three chance, and then if that one was wrong because of this one, it's basically saying one in two thirds guesses left, right? So the only way that's going to be true is if sometimes you would get it in one guess by guessing it right, and then all the other times, two out of the three times, you're getting it in two, right? So it's one plus two plus two divided by three <coughs> is this number. So anyway, cool. So I did the optimal solve. That's um, unexpected, but cool. Uh, let's let's spin the wheel of themes and see what tomorrow brings us. All right, a Doctor Who theme suggested by Rat. So just leave a comment with two starting words related to Doctor Who in some way. And of course, if you enjoyed this, why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.